Hi all folks, this is Max from HTCEvilHacks.com and I got ROM review of Nocturnal Venom. Um, I really, really love this ROM. Uh, so let me show it to you. This is for the Evo 3D. Um, you get the nice lock screen there. Um, I really like the red, uh, the red ring there. It's kind of cool, right? Really cool looking. Um, let me show you the keyboard. Um, it has the uh, that I forgot what this uh, font is called. Anyway, this has a uh, Sony Bravia engine, so it's supposed to run a little bit faster. Um, and also, it has uh, let me see here. It has Beats Audio Media Player with Dolby SRS and Equalizer. Um, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna download Quadrant right there. Um, it looks really cool. I really like this theme. Um, it's really cool. The red, red theme. If you like the color red, you'll definitely love this um, this ROM. And also it comes with Anthrax Kernel, uh, which I got it overclocked to 1.536 and uh, the number of governors. Let's look at it. I like the Intel Anthrax. I believe that's probably the best um, to run with this. Uh, we'll actually run Quadrant with that running. Um, should give you good battery life and performance. And, uh, uh oh, for some reason I'm having trouble downloading Quadrant. And let me show you. Whoop. I get messed up now. On ICS, left to right, and I'm going up and down. Um, another cool, really, really cool thing. Well, really, really cool little thing that's really cool to me um, capacitive backlight uh, you can turn it off see it's gonna turn off um, let me turn down my my uh, camera here so it's turned off and you can put it to uh, dim there you go it's ah. there you go that's dim and full on you see the difference and damn, I really think that's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, I wish there was an app you can um, flash your thing, just like different different patterns for different alerts. Maybe there is already. If you know of anything like that, let me know. Sprint Hotspot is supposed to be hacked. Uh, when I tried it, 3G was working, 4G Hotspot wasn't working. But you can always download Android uh, Wi-Fi Tether app. Just Google it, download it, um, and you can get 4G tethering and uh, let me show you the keyboard again no, no I showed the keyboard already and uh, I guess that's pretty much it um, and I'll have to run quadrant real quick hold on a second here yeah I, I do hear uh, there's a rumor ICS is officially coming to Evo 3D soon uh, when that happens we'll have all these custom ROMs porting to ICS um, I heard that CM9 is coming to EVO 3D soon, so I hope 4G is working on that, and uh, that would be really cool. Let's run a full benchmark real quick here. Um, overclocked 1.5 gigahertz, around 1.5. Um, we're using the Intella Anthrax governor. Um, should be pretty good. That should shouldn't be too bad. Um, so I've got this ROM. I think my favorite ROM now is um, I think I still really like the Infected ROM for the Evo 3D and uh, a couple more ROMs. But I'll, I'll have a uh, maybe maybe next week I'll have a ROM the best ROM reviews like you know just going back to all the ROMs uh, I've reviewed and you know and also getting opinions from all of you guys. Maybe I'll have a poll and uh, kind of go over the latest versions and test them out and see which is the best 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 EVO 3D ROMs and you know a lot of them are really nice um, a lot of them are really good but uh, I'll have a full detailed review soon uh, maybe even with a chart that shows you um, all the features nah let's not do that it's gonna be too much work for me I'm a little overloaded here so I will need some break soon. Um, and this quadrant is running really slow, slowing me down here. 
Um, but it should be pretty done um, soon. And I Okay. Well, it's almost done. Um, just let's just wait till it goes through there. I just want to leave this vid part of the video because I know some of you want to actually watch this part. <coughs> oh my god, I just choked on myself. <coughs> um, I but I really like this ROM because of the overall red um theme kind of because I you know I'm looking for something more refreshing than other than just sense you know and I don't really like um uh, Mayui. I like my UI, just 4G doesn't work and they're never going to develop it. That's why, you know, I I have no use for my my UI unless, you know, they they're going to develop 4G. They have a great ROM, why don't they develop 4G for it? That's my only complaint. Um, you know. So. Yeah, I mean, if if they had the uh 4G on my UI, that that would be the best ROM, like one of the Probably the best ROM for EVO 3D right now. Um, too bad they don't have it. So it's almost done. I, I don't know why it's running so slow. Maybe I'll just skip this whole. You can all skip this part if you don't want to see it. But I just record it for those of you who want to see it. Um, wow, it's really slow today. Maybe I should have put it on performance. Not really this long. There you go. The file system is going a little bit faster. Wow, I've never been so bored <laughs> during a ROM review here. Um, so it's going now. Almost done. Um, I'm just waiting for the official official CM9 ICS, which is should be pretty good. And um, you've probably seen from the previews of the ICS is pretty good. Um, so just I just want 3G, 4G, and camera working, you know, and camcorder. Well, pretty much everything working. Um, I don't care about voicemail. You know, a lot of you complain to me um, that you lose your voicemail for some reason on certain ROMs, but. You know, if you use Google Voice, you never have to deal with all those problems because, you know, all your stuff is on Google Voice. There! It's finally done. Um, 11.69. <laughs> I have no idea what, why that's happening because I have all my data synced off. Um, maybe it's that governor. You know what? Let's try it again. I don't know if this thing is actually working. Let's just put it on performance just for testing. Otherwise, it wouldn't be f a fair testing for this quadrant. We'll run it again real quick. All right. You know what? Screw it. That's, that's, I know it's going to be slow again. Um, I'm not sure why this, you know, it doesn't feel that slow. Maybe some kind of bug with the, uh, that. But I really like this ROM, so try it out. Um, maybe I, I just gotta reboot it, and usually after a reboot. You know what, let me reboot it. It's probably because I just, I didn't reboot once yet, so I'll be right back. Oh yeah, why well, I reboot. I'll show you the reboot menus. You get power off, hibernate. Hibernate. You can hibernate phones. That's kind of cool. Um, restart mobile network. So you, you get normal hot restart. We'll do uh, normal, and I'll show you the uh, the boot animation while we're doing this. And I know one of um, I forgot who said it, but I know one uh, somebody said that you like me failing, or you like me <laughs> leaving all my fails on. So I decided to leave all my fails on now. You know, it's just, I think it's better if I just, you know, I don't have to try to hide anything. It's not like trying to hide anything. It's, you know, it's, that way you'll, you'll encounter, you'll see the problems I encounter. You'll know how to deal with it. You know, usually a reboot will fix a problem like that. Because I just, you know, installed the ROM and that's probably most likely why I'm getting like weird scores. But here's the boot up animation. Um, 
It's the Buzzy Bees for Honeycomb. That's the Honeycomb uh, animation. You can actually download this. Uh, I have a site for it. AndroidBootAnimations.com, I think. Is that my site? Yeah, something like that. Um, and also, if, if your battery starts losing really fast, um, like I'm noticing it went from like beginning of the video 93 or something to 87 just now. Don't worry about it. Um, it's just a software error. Um, just, you know, use it all the way to zero and then charge it up all the way and it should get rid of it. Usually it's, it has to do with, uh, something to do with the, um, the software, uh, battery stats. And it usually clears itself up after a power cycle. So try to install this ROM on the weekend. That would be a nice thing to do. And let me actually run, uh, set CPU real quick again. Again and again and again. There we go, I got it on demand here. Let's put on performance. And uh, I don't know why you would get like Evo 4G like scores when, you know, it's overclocked that much. So, not sure what's happening here. It's really slow. Um, I think something's syncing there. It's annoying the crap out of me. See that? Because I turned my sync off. Um, maybe it's background data turned off. I don't get it. Why is that circling? Huh? Hold on. You know what? Um, I think there are problems with this ROM. Um, so I'm still going to upload this video. But, um, I mean, it's a very good ROM, um, Nocturnal Venom. I'm just going to leave up the video, but I'm not going to put up the link to the download file. Um, I wouldn't recommend flashing it right now. Um, but if you still want to try it, I'll leave up the link, actually. Um, but I think there's problems with, uh, not sure if the battery, I think something's running in the background. And you can see that thing. I'm not sure what, it's trying to keep syncing. I turned everything off. But it's really draining my battery. Um, I'll probably try to power. I'll try to power cycle it, like I said, and see if that solves the problem. But there's some problems. I mean, it runs fast just from just you know from the UI. Just quadrant is scores are really bad. I'm not sure what's wrong, but um, something is up. So um, that was the you know overview of Nocturnal Venom. It's a pretty still new ROM, so I have an updated review. Um, this ROM just came out like like a week ago, so you know it's not a bad ROM. I'm just saying it just needs uh, we we just need to wait till the version 0.3 right now. Um, so by the time it's version 1.0, it's probably um, all those you know quirks, weird things should be solved, and you know. But it, it looks like a really good ROM. I really love the um, the ring here, and I really love the red theme. Um, not sure what's wrong, but you know, I'll, I'll I'll try it out and uh, let you know. I'll have an update. Um, anyway, see y'all later. <sighs> Spent so much time on this. Yeah.